uh, the next question was from Pablo. He says, hey guys, thanks for all you're doing. I have a couple of questions. One, I need to push power to the money site city pages. Better to iframe all post to G site and then order a link building to G site or build links to some other properties. My goal is to cover all city pages on the money site. Okay, I talked about this a lot recently. Um, I'll try to go through this very quickly. And if you go back to the previous masterminds, not last week, I wasn't here, but either the week, probably the week before that and the one before that as well, because I know I've covered this multiple times in, in the last month or two. Um, but what I like to do is, again, yes, you want to theme mirror your pages from your money site onto your G site. So if you have individual city pages or posts, it can be either one, it doesn't matter, uh, that are optimized for the keyword plus city, then put those in your, your, your G site as well. What I recommend though, is if you got proper silo architecture on your money site, which you should, then you create that same, you mirror that same architecture on the G site. So if you have posts as city, you know, optimized for keyword plus city, and they're within a specific category, for example, then I would have the category page mirrored on the G site. And then you create child pages on the G site where you would embed and eat on a one-to-one -one ratio, one-to-one -one ratio of page uh, from the money site page to the G site or post from the money site page page on the G site because there are no posts on the G site. That makes sense. But you can create the silo structure by creating the child pages within the G site. That makes sense, right? And you so you you would create the additional pages on the G site. You just embed it in there. You don't need to create any additional content, guys. You just iframe the site page from your money site right into the G site page, okay? And then, yes, you can order link building gigs to that. Something else you can do is if you're blogging from your syndication network or from your money site to your syndication network, you can extract the post URLs from the syndication network, right? So those posts that you're using to optimize a particular silo or keyword or whatever, you can go out and extract those URLs from your web 2.0 properties, even if you just did the three blog properties. So Blogger, Tumblr, WordPress. Now you've got those URLs that you can also build links directly to, right? That are, if, if, you, if you know how to build links from within your blog post to your money site pages or the pages that you're trying to rank on your site, that's what the blogging is for. Targeting long tails, right? Of whatever keyword is that you're trying to rank for within the blog post and you link from within the blog post to that money site page that you're trying to rank. And so you do that you consistently over time with as many keywords, as many posts, supporting posts as you need to, to get the results that you want. Well, now you've got all those posts that you can um, extract, the post URLs you can extract from your web 2.0 properties that you can build links directly to. You can also embed those in the same G site, uh, the mirrored pages on the G site so that you have all that relevancy and all those properties, right? We talk about iframe stacking all the time. So that's a number of ways that you can do it. Again, press releases are also another great way. Um, I love using press releases to promote blog posts. So I like to publish blog posts and then have press release written to announce or to highlight, to spotlight the blog post. Now you've got additional content and it's long form content. I love the press releases from Press Advantage and MGYB because they're you know, se seven to 800 words ish that are, you know, it's really relevant and you can use those, you can iframe those now. And so that's additional content. By the way, you can also grab the RSS feed from the organization in Press Advantage uh, for whatever the, the, the company is. And you can use that to also trigger your syndication network, which I highly recommend because those are very, very powerful. Um, uh, those, those press releases can now get syndicated and they, they appear beautifully across the syndication network by just creating an additional set of applets in your syndication network with your Press Advantage organization feed. Does that make sense? So that's, I mean, that's, that's what I do. That's specifically how I do it is, is everything through the G site. And then uh, also you can order the drive stack expansion from MGYB, which will also mirror that same silo structure for whatever category it is that you're trying to rank in a, uh, your, your drive stack. And they'll create the actual G site page on your, on your uh, G site if you, if you want. So that's how I do it. Any, you want to comment on that, Marco? No, that was good. Okay.